It's only fitting that the first deck that I try out for week three of Karazhan be the one that is most anticipated as very strong due to the addition of Menagerie Warden. It's Beast Druid. Beast Druid has made a decent showing before Menagerie Warden, and I've kind of been using these last two weeks, and even like maybe last month, to think about, all right, how do I exactly want to craft my Beast Druid deck? And I decided on this list. Um, I anticipate that the best list is going to have some changes, but who knows, maybe this one ends up being good. I thought of adding Raven Idol because of Fandral, but I couldn't find the space. I took out a Static and Savage Roar. Azure Drakes didn't fit because I have Druid with the Claw and Strangle Thorn Tiger. I decided on putting in Violet Teacher because it's so good with Power of the Wild. And it has the best beasts in it. Um, Druid of the Flame is a consideration. But I think Mounted Raptor is good enough. Basically, there's a lot of cards that could fit in here, but I couldn't figure out another card to remove. So it's a good curve. I think this deck, above all, uh, epitomizes Curve Stone. So you try to play your one drop, Raven or Roots. You try to play your two drop, Saber or Power of the Wild or Mark of Yashiraj on Raven. You try to play your three drop, Mounted Raptor. You try to play your four drop, Teacher or Combatant or Stag Helm, usually in combination with like Innervate and spells. You try to play your 5 drop, Drew the Claw or Tiger, and then you finish out with the 6 drop, Menagerie Warden, hopefully on Stranglethorn Tiger, sometimes on Drew the Claw, sometimes on other things. Uh, it's good if you play it on literally any beast in this deck. Even if you play it on a 3 2 or 2 2, it's still a 6 mana 5 5 and 2 2, which is I guess not that good, but it's okay. Uh, worth mentioning, Menagerie Warden copies. The Mark of Yasharaj buff, so if you play the Mark of Yasharaj and then you play Menagerie Warden, that works. So, playing on curve is what this game is all about, you fool. Let me teach you. I must protect the wild. The light protects me. Ah, the good old combo. Beast into Mark of Yasharaj. I probably should have hit that actually because of a uh, lightning bolt. Not used to having a 4 health minion. The punish. Maybe the punish. Did you bring some no punish. Fish? I could play Mounted Raptor, but I want to keep my Magma Rager on the board. So that's like, uh, use Hero Power Summon Magma Rager, since otherwise the 1-1 one -one killed the 5-1. Oh hey, combo's here. So, Tiger and the Warden, probably. 4-drop is probably gonna be Swiper Wrath. Maybe Savage Combatant. Yeah, Magma Rager. Bad Valley. I wonder why he's playing Arcana Smith. And Argent Squire. Never lucky. Lucky. You're gonna see druids all around the world do this. Although it might be too slow. Taking a lot of damage. Wouldn't be very good for uh, Beast Druid if I lost to Arcano Smith. Shaman. Uh oh. Well, 
I guess I understand the point of Arcano Smith. It's trying to master of evolution then. Well, that's a first look at uh, Beast Druid. Never lucky? Question mark? I don't know. I must protect the one. Nature must be preserved. It's a pretty sweet hand. It's got the combo. Another night on the prowl. Ah, this early in. Uh, this is one hour after the expansion week three has been released. It's Beast Druid versus Beast Druid. Another night on the prowl. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll see many of this. It's gonna be the hot new thing. Behold, the rage of the firelands. Two, one? One, two. Well, that was pretty good. And here I thought my thing was good. Hmm, so I can go Combatant, Innervate, Hero Power, kill Fandral. Or I can leave Fandral alive. He used most of his cards already. Pay attention, class. I'm ready to learn. I'm ready to learn. Wow, this is pretty brutal. I suppose the good news is you get to see how good Fandral or how good Beast Druid is in this match. That is right, he mainly ran out of spells. Happened to have that one extra. I have no regrets. Pay attention, class. I shall do as you say. Both of our decks had a pretty good start. It just happened to have slightly better. <laughs> this is turn four, yeah. Druid of the Claw will be really good here. That one is not. I actually probably should have Savage Word there. No. Yes. No. Debatable. I'd lose either way. And this deck needs to be ahead, otherwise it's just going to lose. Well, that was a good showcase of how powerful Beast Druid is. Uh, not the showcase I wanted, but still a showcase. Let the hunt begin. I must protect the wild. Alright, this is more like it. Curve stuff. I guess I haven't uh, curved as well as I would have liked for those last games. But this curve feels like much better success. So 
I can do uh, Innervate Druid to the Saber, but I think I'm gonna not save the Innervate. Here for the Tiger? Maybe. Is that a Huffer in Menagerie Warden's picture? Taste my beasts. We're gonna put Rexar out of a job. I was just thinking, a big part of why Hunter is so good is because of Houndmaster. It's 4 mana 4, 3 plus 2 plus 3, 2. But Menagerie Warden is 6 mana 5, 5 plus 5 plus 5. Kind of. I let the dogs out. Kind of, sort of. They still have high main, so they have that going for them. Wow! Join the pack. That's more like it. That's that's the dream right there. Actually running out of steam. I must protect the one. Nature must be preserved. Did I actually innervate that out on turn one? I'm not sure, but I'll try. Depends on what else I draw. I'll innervate out combatant and then go into Raptor. I wonder if he's playing the curator in here, if he's playing the Finley. I think there's a decent chance he is. Stone. It was kind of the hope that Fangel was a must answer threat and I'd be able to go to my 5 drop, 6 drop without harassment. Hmm, good play. Oh ho 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 ho. Man, this board state is going to be very common. Join the pack. Spectacular. Base, huh? 5, 10, 15, 16, plus 10 is 26. I actually think that it might not be correct to play Menagerie Warden this turn. I need to clear the board to avoid getting Savage Ward down. Also, this is a big match about board control.
It's daring, considering I could savage her. Or Living Roots' wife or something, something. He's bold. I'll give him that. Join the path. For me, though, it's a matter of just cementing the win. I suppose I don't have to kill that one. That would be a bit too extreme. Even with a charger and savage roar, that's like 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Where shall I start? There's a lot of strangle current tigers in this game. Strangle current tiger. It's back. And we're back in the positive win rate after a tough start. Malfurion versus Malfurion. I must protect the one. Nature must be preserved. The wrath doesn't actually matter. Uh, the wrath doesn't answer many things other than power of the wild panther. This is a good time to think about what a good deck against druid is. It might be zoo, maybe. Against Beast Druid, to be specific. I think it is Zoom. Nice. Card. Where shall I strike? Sure, huge tempo. What the? Uh, yeah, that that's what I meant to do. For some reason, I thought enough mana to coin teacher innervate wrath, but yeah, it's still good. Innervate out menagerie warden next turn. Play volley teacher. It's fun too. Teacher Innervate Drew to the Saber, maybe? Attention, class. Okay. Another night on this is still mini tempo, yes. Instruction begins. For the wild, I shall I'm gonna keep that Panther uh, so I don't get swiped. Or have that panther removed. Need a target. I think I'm going to kill off his guy, so he can't menage reward in that thing. Join the pack. He's got a lot of cards in his hand. Hopefully, I can uh, out tempo him. The menagerie is for guests. Oh, curator. How many cards did he draw? I think two. Or maybe one. Let's see, that's three damage plus three. It's good. <laughs> draw one. Probably a beast, I'm gonna guess. Which means he has an Azure Drake in his hand. And maybe he has Sir Finley in his hand? If he's playing Sir Finley. I think that's the uh, beast he drew with the curator. Menagerie Warden Combatant gets a massive uh, hero power of inspiration value. Join 
join the pack. Unleash the beast. Ah, he has 4, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. With the swipe, it would be lethal. Can you put, can you afford to put Savage Roar in a deck like this? The other question is, does it matter? Maybe I should just play it safe. And I will play it safe. Maybe I should kill all beasts. Yeah, let's kill all beasts. That wasn't even a 6 mana 10 9. It was 6 mana 12 9. Because of the hero power. Plus 2. Two Innervate is too much. Well, if I draw Violet Teacher out, I, I automatically win with a hand like this. Alright, let's let's gamble. I mean, I have the one drop and the two drop. And with two Innervates, any card that I draw is good. Any card. Maybe not that one. That one's alright. If I draw Violet Teacher, I basically win. Such the teeth I have. It's a shame that I have to use it as a panther. I was thinking whether or not I need to use Mark of Yashraj immediately, but probably not. There, there's a lot of beasts in this deck. like a sniper room. Oh, it's a cat trick. Where shall I Tonight, a tale of Wow. A stone spectacular. So we're out of fuel here. A lot of tempo because of two innervates, but he has a lot of tempo because of Warren's high main. Uh, he might actually have a- no, I was about to say he might have a deck where he almost always gets high main, but then he played huge toad. So he's just lucky. Hmm, that one's snipe. Or another cat trick, lol. Okay, that one's snipe. Hitting was a really big deal. And it turns out that Magma Rager Stranglethorn Tiger is still good. Such big teeth I have. So I can set up Weevil by wardening this uh, stealth to Magma Rager and then Savage Roaring. The only thing that can stop me would be some traps. Let's see, if I just attack with 5, he goes down to 9. Uh, maybe I should take the 5 damage right now. Yeah.
Okay, so that's 17. Just enough. That's close. Thanks, Magma Ranger. would be pretty good if it had stealth. That could be the new Magma Ranger. Actually, it could be a 3 mana card, given... I think that might be fair. I must protect the one. Nature must be preserved. Quick, we have to come up with a counter to Beast Druid. Well, I can uh, look at old stats and see if there's something. Time to shine. So five mana, six three, right? And then destroy a beast. Say you're destroying a five five. And make Hemet like a. Is it five mana? Or is it six mana? Five mana, eleven eight. Okay. Oh, GVG. Oh, Hemet. Rotated out too soon. Hemet, no. Too soon, Hemet. <laughs> Actually, Wrath probably makes more sense. Perfect target for Wrath. Emmett, we need your reprint right away. So the expected play, the expected follow-up play by him is the uh, warden. If you play as a warden, you can't pass, get past the Druid of the Claw. So it seems like a good play. At least you make him make a choice. I don't know whether that means he has the warden or not. May or may not. Hmm. Actually, I'm highly incentivized not to do that this turn. Highly incentivized to draw a swipe. Nature strikes. <sighs> That's an aggressive line to take. Another night on the prowl. Oh, that's really good for him. It's the really good trade. But maybe I'll kill him with a uh, Menagerie Warden. Uh, I actually don't have enough time to kill him with that. Mm, that's a good draw. Join the pack. I was thinking about Power of the Wild and Menagerie, but then I died. So then I decided not to. Not that it actually matters, come to think of it. Well, the Savage Roar is going to win. Let's see, for me, I need 6 damage. 
at five damage. So I need in order to win one damage. Five, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. So I need to try to cut as much damage as possible. Sick em. So it ends up being a close game, I think. I mean, it was close. Well, it is close. He has to have four damage. That's exactly Swiper Tiger, or Swiper Claw, I think. Or a mix of Mark, Roots, or Roar. Savage My Combatant, beast, is that enough? The beast. It's eight. Well, he doesn't have it either. Oh, we were both one damage off. Six, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. So I'm two damage off. Pay attention, class. I am ready to But his chance of killing me is really slim. Now. Especially if he couldn't kill me last turn. That means that card is irrelevant and doesn't do damage. Spectacular. Innervate, innervate to finish, right? No? Savage Roar. Spectacular. Here he is.